Hey, my name is Zach, and I wanted to show you how to make restaurant food pictures. Now, this is important to do because sometimes customers like to see your featured item. If you show them a picture of your featured item, they're actually more likely to buy that. And people eat with their eyes, so the image needs to look good. So in Photoshop, what we're going to do is go to File and Open. We'll go to my desktop. And we'll navigate to the image of the burger that I have. And now we have this image here. I would suggest doing your own photo shoot. This is something that you can do easily at home. I'd suggest going to Walmart, getting a box, and coating the inside with white paper. Make sure it looks seamless. Next, what I would suggest is just using some lamps to cast the light onto the food. Take some pictures, and you'll have a white background like these. And then all you have to do is use the magic eraser tool, which is located here next to the paint bucket. So we'll use the magic eraser tool, and it erases all the white. Now, first, what we're going to do is hit Control A, Control, and then Control X. We'll make a new layer and hit Control V. So we have the burger on its own separate layer from what the background was. We can now delete that. So what we're going to do is make this burger a little bit smaller. We're going to do that by hitting Control T. And if you hit Shift and Hold while you're dragging, it's going to make sure that your image stays proportional. So we'll hit Shift and click and drag to make it a little bit smaller. We'll hit this little check button up here. I'm going to go to Images. And I'm going to look for fire. That's a cool looking image. So we'll hit View Image, right click, and Save Image As. We'll save it to my desktop and hit Save. We can close out of this now. So we'll go to my Explorer, go to my desktop, scroll down to where I have the fire, and click and drag it onto my image. And we'll take the burger and put it on top of the fire. Now, we want this burger to pop out a little bit differently than that. First, we're going to change our canvas size. We're just going to use the crop tool to make sure our image is the right size. So we'll go to the crop tool and just click and drag out and hit this little check button up here. And now it's the right size. I'm going to change the opacity of this burger a little bit. You'll see what it does. It almost blends it right into the fire. So now we can also go to our effects tab, go to blending options, and we'll add like a little drop shadow just to give it some dimension. We could also instead do an inner glow or an outer glow to make it almost look like it is glowing. We could bevel and emboss it, but I think drop shadow is the best looking of them all. If you go to the drop shadow menu, you can change a few options here. So instead of multiplying, it can darken. And we'll just say OK. Now we could use text draw out a text box, and that'll automatically create a new layer. And we could say, try our flame burger. I'm going to hit Control A and center it. And hit the check button. Now I'm going to hit Control T and make this a bit bigger. We can rotate this here. And we can also add effects to it once we hit this check button. And we'll add a drop shadow to it as well. And say OK. That just makes it pop out a little bit more. My name's Zach, and I just showed you how to make good-looking food pictures. Thanks for watching.